Hello everyone, FredRex2007 here, and welcome back to another video on my channel once again. And today's video is the very first horror movie review video of this October, which of course, today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the West, the classic Wes Craven's 1996 Scream. And to those who did not know, I am a huge Scream fan. I love the movies, i never seen the, the TV series. And basically, I do know that Ghostface is always in that, you know, everyone remembers Ghostface in that really stupid comedy film, like, called Scary Movie. Like, literally everyone always remembered Ghostface only in that movie. Like, it's it's really disappointing for me. But either, what, either, but either though, like, all other horror characters always remember Ghostface. Like, clearly, the very first Scream movie, when it, since it came out around 96, it clearly changed horror forever. It's the one that woke back... It just bring back horror, like just woke, woke it up out of its hibernation. Cause basically, like, it, when it's around to the '90s, like people do not care much about horror anymore. Until then, Wes Craven wants to fix all that up to make this movie and make horror come back to life and change it forever. So that's what it, it really it is. So the Scream movie is basically about you know it has to be a horror movie in real life. So. That means it's a teen horror movie, and basically teenagers are getting slashed to death by a killer, an unknown killer called Ghostface, and it focuses and it focuses on these characters, like these seventeen-year-old characters. One, like one character is played by Sydney, one the other is, the other has been played by Randy, like that guy from Son of the Mask, which is such a terrible film. And basically, the guy himself that was Shaggy in the Scooby-Doo films, played by that's playing as Stu, and the guy, and the 17-year-old boyfriend, like, Sydney's boyfriend, called, named Billy. And all the other characters are really interesting, too. That reporter girl, and even the cop. So, yeah, Dewey the cop, like, literally, he's literally, like, one of the memorable characters throughout the whole movie. And even though, like, when it gets to, to when it gets to the beginning of the film, like, it gets to, to the, the suspenseful part. Like, when it gets to the killer scene, like, the way that the killer stalks you when he gives you phone calls. Like, he came from the phone, like, he just calls you, like, out of nowhere. And he forces you to play these deadliest games, like, do the guessing game. And basically, you know, it's the same thing like in Saw, but... But this is way different. Like, this is back in 1996. Like, literally, this is when the killer starts using phone... Like, start dying, dialing you with phone calls. And it went to the first, when it gets to the beginning of the movie with that blonde girl, like I forgot what her name was, when she starts calling the killer, until then the caller says, you never told me your name, and she says, why, why you wanna know my name? And he just says, cause I wanna know who I'm looking at. And usually the, even when the ghost face, when the ghost face killer is using the voice box, it's basically being voiced by a, a character, I forgot, but it's been voiced, but that guy's been voiced by Courage, like voice Courage of the Cowardly Dog, which is really awesome. So basically, he voices Ghostface in the screen in that voice recorder of his. And later on in the movie, when the kill when the teenagers get killers when when the teenagers get killed all over the small town, like it's the biggest mystery, like where the killer is and who is the killer behind the mask, like who is the killer behind the Ghostface mask. And the thing is, like I forgot to remind you guys that this scream mask is basically like basically based off a. Uh, an old, an old classic pa screen painting, which we all do know that is this face, you know, like that. And throughout the, so throughout the whole movie, like the ghost face killer is is stalking Sydney. It's because throughout the whole plot, like Sydney lost her mother because she was she was murdered a year ago. Until then, this, until then, the killer says, "I'm the one that killed your mother, and I'm gonna get you next, Sydney." So it's throughout this whole movie that Sydney has to survive throughout the whole movie until the end and see who is the killer, like who the killer really is. And that's like the biggest mystery throughout the whole movie and it gets you really interested. Like it's so interesting. So good. Like basically it gets all the way, like the thing is it gets all the way to the ending of the movie until Sydney finds out like who the killer really is. And even gets to the mystery that everyone thinks that Billy did it, but he keeps saying that he didn't do it until then they let him go. And until then, you know, the other ghost face killer is around. So yeah, the ghost so yeah, the ghost face killer, like, it's so it's he is like this is such a clever, un, like a very underrated, clever horror character. Like literally one of my favorite slashers throughout the whole franchise. Like whole slasher genre, I mean. 
So yeah, so it, it's so surprising all the way to the climax in the ending of the movie when uh, they're going over to Stu's house to do a movie night because basically they because throughout this whole movie everyone all the teenagers around around in the movie are basically you know doing movie nights like watching scary movies. This is what making this is what's making the horror come back to life. Like literally, they're mentioning every horror movie and throughout this whole film, you know. Like Friday the 13th, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Hannibal Lecter, Carrie, and Psycho. Like, this is basically when Wes Craven's meant to put up all those horror movies in this movie. Like, basically, like, this is what's going to make the horror come back. Like, literally, everyone is going to come back to horror after when he's seen this movie. So yeah, when it gets to the climax of the movie, it's so surprising, like, who the killer really is, and I don't want to spoil it for you, so you should definitely check out the movie and find out, because this movie is such a blast. You will enjoy it. So, anyways, so the Scream movie is really great. I do rec just highly recommend you checking this movie out. If you, if to those who haven't seen the Scream movies yet, or you're new to the Ghostface Killer, you should definitely check out the first movie. It's worth a watch. It's such a great film. I definitely give Wes Craven's Scream a solid 9 out of 10. An underrated horror film that Wes Craven really did to direct this movie. Like, really, he did a, a fantastic job to make this movie come, like, to just bring out this movie and to change horror forever. So, it's great. It's such a great film. So yeah, so check out Scream while you still can. So anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, like this video, comment this video, and be sure to subscribe to my channel throughout this October of my horror movie reviews. So I'll see you guys in the next review. Take care.